Meet Ghost. Hoi! Our favorite floppy eared explorer. Like most rabbits, Ghost loves to hop, hop, hop around from place to place. But unlike most rabbits, Ghost doesn't like to sit still and is always on the lookout for somewhere new. Ready to explore, Ghost takes his backpack with him wherever he goes. If you look inside, you'll find his carrot compass, which leads him to adventure, his kite to fly and play, and his paintbrush and palette. Ghost, why don't you show us what that's for? Watch me and I'll show you. Hop, hop, boing! Follow me down the rabbit hole for the story of my latest adventure. It had all started on a day like any other. Feeling full of excitement for the day ahead, Ghost had jumped through the rabbit hole and landed on the other side with a bump on a hard wooden floor. Ouch! He said, rubbing his bottom. All he could see was clear blue sea for miles and miles around. Above his head, a big flag waved gently in the breeze. This must be a pirate ship, and I must be a pirate! Ghost thought, looking down at his new pirate outfit. He pulled out the carrot compass from his backpack to see where it would lead him to. Ghost followed the direction it pointed in, sailing along through the ocean breeze. The ship began to sway from left to right as the waves got bigger and bigger until, whoosh! The wind had swept him off his feet and he began to slip and slide along the deck floor. The waves went crash! against the side of the ship. Ghost held on as tightly as he could until suddenly the waves began to calm and Ghost sighed in relief. Phew, that was a close one. But the adventure had only just begun. Ghost looked around. A sea of jellyfish in every color, shape and size you could think of surrounded the ship. Hello down there. Ghost called, but no one replied. Strange, thought Ghost, and bent down to take a closer look. To his surprise, they weren't jellyfish at all, but hundreds of plastic bags bobbing around in the sea. Then Ghost heard a tiny voice calling for help. Down here, the voice cried. Ghost looked down. A very worried-looking sea turtle stared back up at him. Please, would you help us? Our friend is stuck. Ghost knew what he had to do, so began to follow the sea turtle who led the way, quickly dipping and diving along the waves. When they finally arrived, he was met by a little fish whose tail was stuck in a plastic bottle wedged between two rocks. Thinking quickly, Ghost opened up his backpack and pulled out his kite. Here, hold on to this, he cried, and he threw the kite's tail overboard. The fish caught it in his fins, and Ghost began to pull as hard as he could, but it wasn't working. We're gonna need all the help we can get, said Ghost. The sea turtle went in search for help, and before Ghost knew it, sea creatures from all over the ocean had gathered to lend a helping hand. They all held on tightly to the kite, and with a one, two, three, they pulled the fish out of the bottle. Hooray! They all cheered. But the problem wasn't completely solved. The ocean was still a mess and covered in plastic everywhere they looked. So they all decided to work together and tidy up the ocean. One by one, they picked up bottles, bags, and any other rubbish they could find and placed it all inside Kosa's backpack. When Kos finally arrived back home after a long day of adventure, he took all the rubbish they had collected and put it in the recycling bin. Kos smiled to himself, feeling good for helping all the sea creatures and for making their home safe and happy again. Kos went to bed with a warm, fuzzy feeling inside his tummy. I wonder what tomorrow will bring, he thought, as he slowly shut his eyes and dreamt of all the amazing places he was still yet to discover. The End